Uh, professional development for teachers um, in different provinces in Canada, it works in different ways. So I can only really speak about Ontario. Um, when a teacher graduates from a teacher training institution, they receive what's called a Bachelor of Education degree, and that qualifies them to teach in an elementary or secondary school. Now, if you want to add ESL to your list of teachable subjects, you have to take, take an additional course. They're called additional qualification courses. It's, a hun I believe, a 120-hour course, and there are a series of three courses, ESL Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3. If you take all three of those courses, then you're deemed a specialist in ESL, and uh, there are some um, uh, remuneration uh, benefits to that, as well as um, in the high school allowing you, for example, to apply to be a head of an ESL department. But I, my experience is that um, compared to most jurisdictions that I've uh, come in contact with in the United States, they do require more preparation than one 120-hour course. Um, so I think that's something that we need to think about in Ontario. We also need to think about the fact that at the pre um, preparation, like the pre-professional level when students are in the B.Ed. program, there's no mandatory requirement for any exposure to anything regarding English language learners. And in a province like Ontario, which is so multilingual and multicultural, it seems to me that it should be a basic requirement of foundational teacher education that every teacher learn basic uh, techniques of working with English language learners and have a basic understanding of second language learning. And we don't have that in Ontario yet. So um, those of us who work in advocacy at the provincial level are trying to push for this, but it's a, it's a bit of an uphill battle.